Good morning. A Tuesday shorty. Have you ever played with lake balls? I played with lake balls for 12 to 14 years, so I consider myself a little bit of an expert on them. Now, there's a lot of stuff being written and said about lake balls. Uh, the manufacturers say you shouldn't play with lake balls because they're no good. You should buy new balls. I wonder what could possibly motivate them to say that. And there have been many, many articles written about lake balls. And if you go on YouTube, you'll find loads and loads of people testing lake balls. But I don't tend to listen to people who buy some lake balls from American Golf or whatever and hit four or five shots into a TV screen or on the golf course and then make up their mind about whether they're any good. So, uh, one of the things they say about lake balls is they fill it with water and they go soft. Really? Well, if you've ever gone off the top board in your swimming pool as a teenager and landed awkwardly, you will know that water is not soft when you hit it hard at speed and compress it. Water does not compress. So if it does fill up with water, it's not going soft, is it? The other thing is, um, what are these things made out of? They're made out of plastic. These Pro-V1s are urethane. If you go and Google and just type in what is urethane used for, one of the answers it will come back is, if you're lucky, because we know what the search function is like, is urethane is used as a waterproof membrane in the building industry. So it's basically saying that this plastic is waterproof. Now there is such a thing called osmosis. Osmosis is where a water molecule changes places with a molecule of an object and then it continues to do this and it does it all over the object and the object becomes waterlogged and heavy and it's full of water. Now the thing that tends to fill up with water like this with osmosis is fiberglass boats and I'll bet it's getting in after many many years of being scraped along the jetty and the protective surface being scratched off. So I suppose it is possible that a highly scuffed golf ball, there could be osmosis going on. So I played with these for about 12 years, 12 to 14 years. Why did I stop playing with lake balls that I'd bought off eBay? Well, quite simply, in 2018 and 2019, I won a couple of big events and I was incredibly consistent. So week in, week out, I was putting twos and top five scores on the board. And I won so much money in the pro shop, I didn't know what to do with it. There was nothing I wanted to buy. And I bought eight dozen Pro V1s. Here's some 2018 Pro V1s. I've had a look to see if the date's on it, just to confirm, so I could show you, but there's no date of manufacture. It does say that they've come from uh, Titleist Ball Plant number 4 in Thailand. So they've travelled 6,500 miles to me already. And there's a, little, there's a little bit there that says, please dispose of properly. What does properly mean? So your average lake ball. There was a programme on TV quite a few years back and it was about these lake ball divers. It was sort of like an infield programme on a Thursday afternoon on Sky Sports. And there was this lake diver guy, he had contract with 25 golf clubs and he would go to each golf club in turn and dive for the day. And he was, each day he was pulling in th between three and 5,000 balls. So in a month, you, you, I think it worked out he was, he was pulling in about 1.2 million golf balls a year. 
And he'd take him home, him, him and his wife would put him through the wash plant and then they'd be graded and they, they would be graded as pearl grade, A grade, B grade and then junk which went into the dumpster, he threw, threw them away because they were unsaleable. So I always bought the pearl grade and he's going to these golf courses once a month. So at the very most the golf ball is set on the bottom of the lake for 30 days and at the very le least it was lost yesterday. So, and if you're buying the pearl grade balls you're buying something that simply bought brand new in the pro shop and then lost after three or four holes. A lot of them have got logos on so they've come from uh, corporate days. So my last batch of a hundred balls had an awful lot of corporate logos all over them. So I got pen marks as well for those people who actually bother to mark a ball. But I buy the pearl grade and I think the last lot I got was £155 for a hundred Pro V1s. I've had a look on eBay. You can get A grade for about £165 for a hundred balls and the pearl grade are going about £260 for a hundred balls. When you realise now that Pro V1s are £50 a dozen, that's quite a saving. So how good are late balls? Well, as I say, 2018-2019, I was so consistent I won a ton of money. I've broken par with late balls a number of times. Um, I won four of my six singles knockouts with late balls. Uh, I've got no complaints about pearl grade late balls. So, um, I need to test one, don't I really? So let's get one of my brand new 2018 Pro V1s. And I've got a glass. There's about three quarters of an inch of mud on the bottom. That is rainwater. There's no shortage of rainwater at the moment. And um, brand new ball, glass. Let's make it disappear. Now lake balls are down there, as I say, between one day and 30 days as a general rule. So I could pull this out of here on the 5th of November and go and play with it. Um, I'll tell you what, write in the comments how long should I leave this in here before we pull it out and go and play it. And you can have any time between now and the middle of April next year to make up your mind. I'll take an average of whatever appears in the comments and I'll pull this out. Um, there's obviously some evaporation going on um, so I'll have to top it up with more rainwater which won't be difficult as it's due to piss down tomorrow again. So Lake Boss. I'm happy with them no matter what it says on the old internet here, I played with them for a dozen years, that makes me a bloody expert. Ta-ra!